At a time when the Italian crime rate is soaring and the police are subject to considerable criticism for their inability to halt the trend, Rodolfo Severo, who leads the squad charged with recovering stolen art treasures, believes that his department, at least, has something to show for its efforts. For four years, thieves tried to offload this Roman statuette taken from Pompeii. Severo's department had so effectively closed down the buyer's market that last month it was dumped at his office doorstep, an accolade to his skill, he says. This Madonna with child was stolen two years ago from a village church outside Rome, value around one million pounds. Severo traced it to a Swiss bank after hearing it had been offered to a New York dealer. His tactic is to offer the bank a choice, either the discreet return of the work or a fully publicized scandal through the courts. The bank capitulated without fuss. His biggest coup this year, the recovery again from a Swiss bank vault of a Michelangelo sculptured head, uncompleted at the time of the artist's death. Value on the open market in excess of two million pounds. For 18 months, he haggled and nagged at the bank for this unique work before success. Severo has little time for conventional police operations and believes far more is achieved by the more stealthy, clandestine and diplomatic approach. The Michelangelo was taken from an unguarded church in Old Rome, and Severo's greatest problem in art theft prevention is that literally thousands of works of art lie unprotected in Italian churches. A 700-year-old painting, valued at close to £400,000, was stolen from a Florence church to which no alarms were fitted. Severo's agents discovered it in a private art exhibition, and this week will formally hand it back to the care of the state, but not to the church from which it was taken. That's San Felice in Piazza, in the city center, still without defenses against art thieves beyond its massive front door. The painting was removed from the altar screen, a simple task, but the cost of protecting these churches is prohibitive, and in the past, the very fact that the works were on church property was enough to guarantee their safety. In modern Italy, that no longer stands. And it's a continuing process, the altar painting found, but last month, a Christ figure from the nave went missing value a little above £100,000. Enough to bring Rodolfo Severo back to Florence once again. The police, his agents and Italian diplomats abroad will once again be circulated with the details and he will wait for the whisper of where the picture has ended up. After that will begin the secretive recovery process, the personal style of detective work that has proved so successful. <laughs>